What's going on, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Former R&B vocalist Jaguar Wright. And I don't know if you guys know her. She was really big back in the 2000s. Yes, she's out, man. I'm so happy she's finally getting her time to shine. She is a, Look, she's been exposing Diddy and Jay-Z and all of these hip-hop artists for over 15 years now. Now she's finally made it to the mainstream with this whole P. Diddy situation that's came out. It's finally starting to come to light what Jaguar has been talking about this whole time. And we're about to get into a Jaguar just made it to Piers Morgan. Give her a round of applause. Man. Yes, sir. And I'm here for all the smoke, guys. You guys are about to be exposed to what the music industry is really about. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Jaguar right on Piers Morgan. Let's go. Well, Diddy's downfall has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and beyond. The blast radius from the uncovering of his alleged offences could yet swallow many more powerful and famous figures. Diddy is accused of creating a criminal enterprise which engaged in sex trafficking, racketeering, kidnapping, bribery and forced labour. His lawyers say he'll fight the charges. But after the testimony you're about to hear, he'll be staggered he avoided the attention of law enforcement for so long. I'll speak to a lawyer, a whistleblower and an insider for an uncensored insight into the showbiz scandal of a generation. And Jaguar, I'm going to start with you. Um, you've been called a whistleblower. Um, you knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. Um, and in 2022, you made headlines after comments uh, where you called him a sex trafficker. Uh, and in response, you were called mm -hmm. crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all, um, because he's just the beginning. Until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. How, how bad was That's it? That's what I care about. I care about the victims. No, I understand. How bad was it, do you think, what was going on? I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, um, I've been performing live since I was 13. My first handler was McKinley Horton. Um, I come to find out 25 years later that a scar that was on his face with a very elaborate story he gave me was put there by a woman who he assaulted. To live through these things and hear your elders, elders in the business, people like Patti LaBelle say, just avoid him, honey. Um, and being taught to be a, just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough. Not when you live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this, and you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you, and she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. Right, there's been a lot of uh, rumor mill about what has happened in the rap world. A lot of allegations that the misogyny in the lyrics clearly was based on mm -hmm. a general misogyny towards women away from the music. And that clearly seems to have been borne out by these charges against Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think- Thank God. How dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He I have to correct that. Not everyone knew. Just everyone within the music industry knew. Normies don't know this. This is why I like this is because finally, normies get to see what your boy has experienced, what your boy has seen within the industry. Now you guys finally get to see what it's really about within the music industry and why you just stay home, man. Create, stay home, 
be creative. You can do it all from home. Now, you don't have to go to New York and L.A. to get this thing to, to make it big. Am I right, guys, or what? We're in the digital age. Stay home. Be creative. Do it at home. Let's go. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost. The list of lost is ridiculous. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. He's the Judas. Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now, that he may start revealing things about other people? He has no choice. His ego and his drug addiction won't allow him to do anything different. Ooh, <laughs> this is crazy or what, guys? Oh my goodness, let's get it. Anybody who thinks he's not gonna talk is crazy. The simple fact that he's not saying more now only means that the people who have been protecting him all along, who put him in position to be such a horror to the black community, still find value in him. He's got everybody on tape. They all know it. So nice. For those who were never at these freak off parties, what were they like? Mm. See, this is the thing. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my firsthand knowledge. It is my firsthand witness account experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Salute to Zoe Kravitz. The sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with, even to this day, have worn hidden cameras. I have my own tapes. I've seen what they do. The ritualistic behaviors the drugging, putting girls in the suitcases, <sighs> dumping them in alleyways. It's, it's, it's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection of this is gonna be paid off. There's another NDA. This is gonna be, it's terrible. It seems to have been something that people a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared knows. to talk about. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. Yep. But everyone knows what's going on and it's been going on for years. It's been going on before Diddy. See, people keep looking at him like he's the Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. We got to stop making Diddy's. And if we're going to do that, then we got to go back. We got to go back to even further the mentors of these people because Diddy was taught how to do what he does systematically, and Clyde Davis has been his greatest teacher. Oh my God, oh, sh woo! Third, Michael Anna, top everybody, 49. Crazy or what, guys? Crazy or what? Clive Davis? Wow, let's go. Look, I, Clive Davis is not here to respond to that. Thank you. Guess they're on vacation. If this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think the, the world is going to be shocked by what comes out? Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. 
It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. For decades. How many victims? What's the difference between me and Judy Garland? Social media. How, how many victims? There was none for her. How mm -hmm. many? How many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands, thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I, I think people should really look into that more. I am friends with Albie Shore. I love him. I love his children. I I knew Kim. We used to all hang out together at the Kit Kat Club back in the mid-90s when Diddy was first starting his reign. I watched that whole thing happen. And if you guys don't understand, go look, dig up that whole Al B. Sure thing, man. Al B. Sure nearly lost his life over allegedly Diddy. Make it make sense. And matter of fact, the whole Uptown Records staff right now, who where Diddy came from is pretty much deceased. The only one left is Diddy and I'll be sure. It's wow, guys. It is wow. Look it up. All right, let's get into it. And everything that Albert has been through, every attempt on his life that has been ignored by the authorities, it all leads back to Diddy. And everyone knows it. The wiretapping of the phones, putting air tag on children during visits, these are normal practices that these people do. Jaguar, um, I've got to leave it there. I, I really appreciate you joining me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Guys, there it is. There it is. Jaguar Wright is at it. Finally, she's getting her just due from at least 15, 20 years of trying to expose Diddy, Jay-Z, and all of these artists that came out in the 1990s, 2000s. Give her a round of applause, man. Give her a round of applause. I'm so happy for her. This is awesome. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for your boy. I will be coming at you with another episode right here on the Dewan Elliott Podcast. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I will see you guys on the flip side. All right. Peace.